Hi, I'm Nan Simonson. I am about to show you one of my favorite comfort foods, and that is mashed potatoes, but these are made with cauliflower as well. So they're even, oh, lighter, they're delicious, they're easy to make, and I'm gonna take you back a few minutes because I want to explain that I have two pounds of Yukon gold potatoes in the pot of boiling water. They've been cooking for about 12 minutes, brought it to a boil, cooked it for about 12 minutes, and now I'm going to add about a pound and a half head of cauliflower. They're gonna steam here, and then I'll get back to it all and show you where the magic happens. Put the cover on. I'll set my timer for another 10 minutes. I wanna make sure that the cauliflower is very tender, and then we'll turn them into mashed potatoes, and we're gonna serve it with my meal tonight. Before I do that, I wanna explain I am an author. I'm an author who just turned 70, and at 69 and a half, I decided that I was going to tell my story, and I wrote Aging Powerfully. It was released in December, the end of December 2020, and it was an Amazon number one new release in its category, and I am creating cooking classes to show people what it is that helped me in a recovery. You see, I was a food addict for most of my adult life. Um, I suffered from an eating disorder, bulimia, and it went on and on and on, and I only broke the spell in um, early 2018 with the help of a book, Brain Over Binge, and I have a podcast on my website, nansimmonson.com, and I'm interviewed by the writer of Brain Over Binge, Katherine Hansen, and with a dietary style that kept my system balanced and kept me nourished and kept me very well satisfied, a starch-based, whole food, plant-based, starch-based uh, based dietary style so that I can eat all the potatoes and beans and grains and fruits and vegetables that I want. Stay healthy. It's been more than, well, I'm going on three years now. And um, stay satisfied. And I haven't looked back. So I'll be bringing you back to this pot in a little while when we're ready to make it into mashed potatoes. Hi, I'm back. Well, the potatoes are cooked, the cauliflower is cooked, the broth from them is still hot, and I'm about to now make the mashed potatoes with what I call the secret ingredient, and that is cashews. Cashew nuts get very soft in warm uh, liquid. They don't have to be uh, soaked in advance if you have a good strong mixer or food, um, uh, uh, blender, <laughs> like a Vitamix, and you'll see what I mean. So I have the pot with the potatoes and the cauliflower. I'm going to drain them. I don't know if you can see this. I have a strainer over a bowl. You don't want to use plastic when you're using heat because you don't want the plastic displaced into the food. And now I'm going to put the potatoes back in the pan where it's nice and hot and where I have room to work. I'm going to put the cashews. I've got a half a cup of cashews and this recipe is on my website, nansimmonson.com. And just go to recipes and it's the um, cauliflower mashed potato. Okay. And I'm throwing in some salt. I'm actually gonna put in a little bit of pepper, although you may wanna use white pepper if you don't want the black flecks. I don't mind the black flecks. And I'm going to put in a teaspoon of chopped garlic. I also had 
some roasted garlic. I had big cloves of garlic that I wrapped in foil, cut just the top off, wrapped in foil, and baked for 35 minutes at 375, uh, 35, 40 minutes, and um, then squeeze them out. And that roasted garlic becomes sweet. It's kind of a, I don't mean sweet like sugary, but it's it loses its um, bite and it's really nice and things. So I put um, a teaspoon of roasted garlic as well. I'm Italian, I love garlic, I was, I was raised on it. And I'm going to put enough of the hot broth to turn it into a cream. So I'm gonna start with two scoops, which is, you can see it's not, just look at the, um, how this looks now, and I probably will make it a little bit more liquid. Put the cover on, make sure the uh, Vitamix is, is on low, and then put it on. is I want it to be very creamy, not um, chunky at all. And a Vitamix will do that. <laughs> if you don't have a mixer or a strong mixer, you only have a processor, then you'll want to soak the um, cashews. Soak them for a couple of hours. Um, you could soak them in water, but it's better to soak them in some broth uh, or just grab out some of the liquid, the hot liquid, while this is cooking. Let it sit in that for at least a half an hour and you should be okay. Yeah, I think that's just fine. What I have, and I'm going to stir it down, and probably after stirring it down, I should do it one more time, but I'm, I'm not going to, I'm fine. You've had enough noise to deal with, right? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pour it over, can you see that? It looks like I'm adding cream. And why am I doing this? Certainly not to save the fat, because as I said, although I don't add oils, any kind of animal products, so I don't add butter, uh, no ghee, I don't like coconut oil, it's full of uh, cholesterol. So, but I'm not afraid of the fat. I'm not afraid of natural fats. I'm not gonna go overboard and have massive amounts of nuts. I'd rather um, have more, I'd rather eat an entire sweet potato than um, have a bunch of nuts that displace that sort of calorie balance. But Again, I don't count calories, but I'm aware that they matter. And if this is, what I'm doing is I have this KitchenAid uh, masher. It's one of my favorites. Oh, and if you noticed, you may not have noticed, I didn't peel the potatoes. Some people want them peeled. They prefer to have them peeled because they believe it looks prettier. This recipe may be from Tammy of Nutmeg Notebook. She's terrific, watch her, her channel. You'll learn everything you wanna know about whole food, plant-based, which she has been for 13 years. And um, she, has, um, she has entire programs on batch cooking and her recipes are always dependable. Uh, Tammy of Nutmeg Notebook, and this might be something that I got from her. Um, she doesn't use salt, so the salt didn't come from that, but I, I don't have high blood pressure. I don't have any pro cardiovascular problems or problems with retaining water, so I do use some salt. And some people, even without that, choose not to. Um, and I'm, and that's Tammy and Chef AJ, and I'm fine with that. I just, 
I guess, stayed in that habit of having a little bit. So this is looking wonderful. The skins are mashing up. They add these little brown flecks. Let me do this and show you. See? I'm going to scrape along the bottom and make sure I have all the skins. Some people like their mashed potatoes. I don't need the trivet anymore. Some people like their mashed potatoes to be um, whipped, just fluffy and whipped. I don't mind some chunks. As a matter of fact, I prefer the chunks. I like to have texture, and so it's my preference to have bits of chunks in there and even some pieces of skin. It doesn't bother me at all. All right, so if we were going to serve this, I would put it in a pretty bowl. Glass is always nice. I'm, oh, let me do it this way. And this is a heat proof Pyrex bowl. I could scatter a little bit of parsley on top or a little bit of sprinkling of smoky paprika. There. And um, this smells so good. And it tastes even better. While you're mashing it, check for the seasonings. Maybe you want more garlic. Maybe you want, um, and start with just a little bit of salt. Maybe you want no salt. Maybe you want to use Benson's Table Tasty or some other herbs. And you know how we serve this. I serve it, excuse me just a minute. I serve it with what I call a mushroom gravy, but it's not really a gravy at all. I saute mushrooms by putting, uh, by sauteing, dry saute, um, shallots and, or um, sweet white onion or leek until it breaks down. Then I put in sliced mushrooms, put in a little bit of broth, some garlic, saute them until they're soft. And if it's if I want it a little soupy, maybe I'll put in a little arrowroot to thicken it and then serve that over the mashed potatoes. This is comfort food. That's how I am able to stay trim, very healthy on whole food plant-based that's loaded with starch because it's so satisfying. Whole plant food starches like these beautiful potatoes are mashed potatoes. Mm are nature's appetite suppressant and um, antidepressant because they calm our systems and they make us happy and they taste really good. Try it. You'll love it. Have a great day and thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.